So if you're ever in a flight and you want to bring up some of the built-in flight panels like the VFR map or fuel or cameras or whatever, and uh, they start taking up all of your screen, you can try to resize them. But if you have two monitors, here's a simple trick that you'll really enjoy. So if you have two monitors, you have a set up something like this where you fly over here on the right, and you have your usual desktop items on the left. So if we hover over here, we want to use one of these flight panels. You'll see that it appears, and you can change things, do things. You can move it out of the way a little bit. But if you're in the middle of doing something, like you're in the cockpit, you're trying to get to a control, this may be in your way, uh, causing havoc maybe. Uh, so what do we do about that? Well, if you look right here, and you click on that little arrow, it changes into an independent Windows box, just like any other Windows box. And look, you can slide it over to the other screen if you want. And we can do the same thing for other ones as well. If we bring up uh, this one, and we go ahead and click in the same place, and then all of a sudden it'll change, and we slide it over here, and there you have two or more. And we can continue going back and put in as many as you think you can fit on your second screen uh, and bring it up. There's your uh, flight map. Uh, click there at the same spot, change it to a regular window, move it over there to your other screen, and you're off and running. So let's say you have it all set up and now you want to use it. Well, here's a cockpit view, and I want to change my cockpit view, not by clicking on something over there, but I want to change the camera's uh, setting. So if I go over here to my left, to that uh, box that we just put over there, and we'll click on a view here. And you'll watch what happens on the right-hand side when we do that. If we change the setting here, it changes internally to the cockpit. And of course that extends to, let's say, the weather. So we go over here to the weather module, and we decide we want to change the weather over here to uh, one of my favorites, and that's stormy. Uh, we'll go over here and rainy or whatever. Uh, and then you see that immediately makes the change over in Flight Simulator. And by the way, when you're done with it and you want to close that particular uh, setting, you go there and you click on the Close X, it'll actually change it back to the regular one you have to click on it again to close it. And we can do that again and again to uh, do all that. You can close that way as well. So there you have it, a nice way to organize your uh, flight panels on a different screen if you have two screens so they're not cluttering up your actual flight. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.